Hey guys, it's me. How we doing out there? I am, as always, living the dream. Doing great. Um, I hope you guys are all doing great, too. Um, so good to be back. So good to be back. I feel like an M&M. Uh, so it does feel good. Um, I hope you guys are really doing great. Um, so before we get into things today, I would just like to say... Uh, Thanks for watching, and please take a minute, a minute, a minute to like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Really helps the channel. Um, I'm trying to take this thing above and beyond. Like, whoa, let's go. All right. So uh, since we've since we've been apart, <laughs> I did have to have a few procedures done. One was surgical, and one wasn't surgical, but I was I went under. And uh, so the first one I had um, endometrial ablation, um, which is just basically where they shut down all my lady parts and I don't have to deal with the monthly gift. And man, <laughs> that is a gift. So, but so I go in for this thing and you know, you have to fast, and you have to do all that and couldn't drink or whatever, but whatever, it was fine. So we get there in the morning. My my husband actually took the day off and took me, which I thought was really nice of him. So I get there, they get me all lined up, they give me my nice they give me my beautiful gown. It looks like just like Vanna White. My big fat white ass hanging out of that thing. But whatever. Um so they get me all prepared. They finally get my IBM because I'm a hard stick. And then they do my vitals, and my blood pressure is, like, through the roof. I mean, it's, like, 200 over 108 or something, and they're freaking out. You know, they're like, we're not going to be able to do this shit. And I'm like, bullshit, like, bullshit. We going to get this done one way or the other. So she's like, well, I'm going to have to talk to the doctor about this, and then they put some medicine in my IV or whatever, and they left. <clears throat> so I'm just hanging out, waiting, 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 waiting. So finally they come back, and the, <laughs> the lady says, uh, would you be willing to take a Xanax? And believe it or not, guys, I have never taken a Xanax. I'm a whole adult. I've never taken one. I'm weird about drugs and pills and stuff. I don't like it. So, I've never taken a Xanax. But I know lots of people that used to be on, the, like, it was a big thing. It was, all people talked about was Xanax. So, I'm like, okay. I said, well, what will, what's it going to do to me? She says, oh, you know, it, it's just going to relax you. <laughs> Bitch, really? Is that how you relax? Oh, my God. So, I'm like, you know what? Fine. Let's just do it. You're going to put me under soon anyway. So, we might as well just do this. So they bring the Xanax. Ho oh, mama. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Like I'm just sitting there having a whole normal conversation and all of a sudden I'm like, whoo, like the lights are pretty. <laughs> like, whoo, shit, oh. I was having my own rave. My own rave in this little hospital room. I'm over here like, oh my gosh, relaxed. Yes, I was definitely relaxed. My blood, my blood pressure dropped to like the most perfect blood pressure I've ever had in my life. It was beautiful, but I was everywhere. I was a hot mess. So they, the orderly comes to get me and push me down to the the surgical waiting room. Basically, they just ditch your ass, which is what they did to me. But so she comes to get me. I'm laying back. We're going down the hall, and I'm just like. Woo! 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 I'm like, look at the lights. She stops and says, I'm going to sit you up. <laughs> like, I'm going to sit you up now. Okay? So she sits me up and I'm still just like, D -d -d -d. like, you just thought they were taking me to Disneyland because I was like, hyped. So they get me down to the place. They park me in this freaking no parking zone or something apparently. So like an hour later, the same orderly comes to bring somebody else, and she's like, you're still here? I said, ain't nobody even came to talk to me. Yeah, they didn't put my ass in the corner and forgot about me. 
So then all of a sudden here they all come. Oh boy, they're like, oh yeah, we're we're ready. For, like we were just getting ready for you. Bullshit, you forgot about my ass. So they came, they got me, and we go, we do the surgery, we get done with it. Everything actually went fantastic. But man, I tell you what, never I know I. I, how, what happened to you in your life that you have to take that to live day to day? I couldn't leave the house. I wouldn't be able to leave my couch, bed, something. Like, dude, what, what happened to you? How do you even do, please tell me you're not driving or doing anything else. I had to clock out the minute I took that Xanax, clock out. And there's people just running around taking this shit. Just taking it. I don't even know how you do it. I I just, like I said, maybe try some therapy. You need a hug? I don't know. I don't know, but goddamn. And then I had to have a colonoscopy. What's cool about getting older is when you go to the doctor, it's no longer just a checkup. Like, you go and then you find out all the procedures you need to have. You gotta go get this done, and this done, and this done, and this done. Fantastic. So I had to have a colonoscopy. Holy crap. Literally. <laughs> like, literally. So they, you, there's all this prep and you got to take, like, I mean, holy shit. I took more Miralax and Docolex than I, that I've, more than I'll ever take again in a lifetime. So, did you know you can shit clear? <laughs> like, you can do, I didn't know that was possible. It, it is. It's totally possible. So they, they have you do all this. You can't eat any solid food all day. You're just taking this nasty, nasty crap that they... And you're just drinking and drinking. You're so full from drinking. It's ridiculous. So you finally, like, go to bed. And you're literally praying, like, please, just please, don't let me sneeze, hiccup, call anything in the middle of the night. Because I'm just going to spray this entire room. Like, it's going to be bad. I could have shit through an eye needle perfectly. Like, it was horrible. So, finally, I don't know, it was probably around 3 in the morning I got up for my last... But when I finally squeezed out the last bit of formula I had as a baby, that and then, like, then it's done. But I go the next day and I'm starving. Now I'm starving. And it wasn't until, like, 10.30 in the morning. So now I haven't eaten for, like, 40 hours. And I'm getting a little growly and perturbed. I say 40. It was more like 30. But whatever. Whatever, you get it. Oh, so we get in the room. The nurse comes in. Do you know what she wants to talk about? Lunch. What's she going to have for lunch? She got the wrong grapes. and she, I said, bitch, bring me that. Bring me that. I said, I know you're not going to sit in here and complain about food right now. I said that to her. So, anyway, the, the long story short, the anesthesiologist comes in. He gives me the stuff. He's like, it's going to take about 22 seconds. So I'm counting down and I'm watching. I know I'm about to go. Right before I go out, I said, enjoy my butt. <laughs> I said that. I was drugged. So then I come to in recovery. This was like, the, I think this was like ketamine or something. So it was totally all mine weird. And like the first thing I'm like looking around and I'm like, is it over? And they were like, yeah. And I was like. Oh my god, did I poop on anybody? Like, that was the only question I had. Did I shit on anyone? She assured me I didn't, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm not so sure. So anyway, that's all I got now, guys. Careful going to the doctor these days. You never know what you're going to get yourself into. Oh, but it came back perfectly clear. I'm fine. Every test I've done, all the stuff I've done, everything came back fine. I'm good. Apparently I'm going to be around for a little while, so you're stuck with me. Ha ha ha. So, anyway, until next time, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. You know, just say, hey, hi, how you doing? Whatever. And uh, until next time, guys, I love you. Bye.